Animation is a way of making movies that has always fascinated us. Our imagination is captured by cartoon images and fantastic scenes that look beyond real. Today, breakthroughs are being made in the art of animation through the use of computers, and a new world of images is taking shape.
Get all your fusion and fission needs at Botco, the number one name in high energy fuels. Matter, antimatter, it doesn't matter at Botco. Our cheerful, speedy attendants can handle them all. Don't pay those expensive reentry fees. We'll bring the widest variety of particles, subparticle, and theoretical energy fuels factory direct to you. Positrons, bosons, or diesel in astronomical quantities and down to earth prices that won't put a black hole in your wallet. Next door or across the universe. Botco. Tomorrow's fuels, tomorrow's prices.
someone like her, there are no limits. There's no bounds to what she'll be. No. Oh, lands on number two. What does he get? <laughs>
At the Hollywood studio of Able Image Research, a new way of creating animation is being developed. They are using the computer as a tool for making characters move in believable, lifelike ways. From the breakthroughs here has come animation which would have been impossible just a few short years ago. In 1984, a challenge was placed before these filmmakers. They were given a storyboard depicting a robot who had to move like a woman. This had never been achieved using computer animation. This is a classic story of a commercial that can't and shouldn't be made, but it's like the little engine that could. We had to build the robot and her environment in pieces. It means everything from the smallest finger joint to the torso, to the neck, to the body parts, the leg, the arm, 18 pieces had to be put together and created for the computer. This entire image really never existed outside the computer itself. Once the basic design was completed, a foam model was made. This provided three-dimensional measurements needed by the computer. For accuracy, the model was sliced into cross-sections, and all the dimensions were fed into the computer and stored as digital information. How's that? That's pretty good. Um, OK, now the bottom lip looks a little thick. Maybe we should you take... Want me to translate them all up here? Yeah, what, maybe from like 25 to 34 or something. Okay, well, I think that looks better. The biggest challenge was making the robot move, which would bring her to life. Director Randy Roberts invented a technique called brute force animation, which did the job. A live model was filmed and the spots painted on her body were used to make a skeleton drawing with the computer. This stick figure animation is called a vector graphic. Once the motion was correct, the robot and her space condo had to be filled in or rendered. These 3D computer images are called raster graphics. These pictures required millions of bits of information which the computer had to calculate but the result is one of the most unique commercials ever made. Even in the year 3000, the question will be, what's for dinner? The answer. 
cancer will be in a package that saves energy, nutrients, and trouble. A package that can last the three-year journey to Jupiter and back and back. And back. Even in the year 3000, we see the brilliance of food in cans.
Once upon a time, there lived in a castle surrounded by a moat with crocodiles in it, a handsome prince who just loved macaroni. So he put on his California screamers and skated to the Super Duper to buy some for his dinner. And on his way home, he met a witch who found him rather attractive. But the prince was shy and said, Cool it, sweetheart. Well, the witch thought he had lousy manners, so she turned him into a frog. Take that, you macaroni lover, and until a beautiful princess kisses you, you can eat flies. <laughs> but lucky for him, a gorgeous princess with great knockers came sauntering by, and the frog said, You want a smooch, honey? But the princess really didn't take to the idea. But then another enchanting eyeful appeared, and the frog said, Lay them hot lips on mine, baby. But she had other business to attend to, and the frog was beginning to get discouraged and thought maybe flies wouldn't be so bad with gravy on them. But then a third curvaceous cutie came tripping by, and the frog said to her, My lust abounds. Plant one on me, oh, you kid. And the princess said, He's rather short, and green's not my color, but what the hell? So she tenderly embraced the frog and planted a real smacker on his toady lips. And the frog turned back into a handsome prince. So they decided to get married and have a family and live happily ever after. Do you take this little young stud for your heavily wedded hubby? You betcha. Do you take this delectable cupcake for your heavily wedded wife?
The following computer simulation of a high-speed flight around the Los Angeles vicinity was produced to demonstrate a capability of scientific data visualization. Landsat views the Earth from 570 miles up and is capable of seeing features that are approximately 30 meters square. A 30 meter square area is approximately the same size as the area inside the bases of a professional baseball field. This is Los Angeles, California on July 3rd, 1985. We are now traveling toward the Pacific Ocean at about 200,000 miles an hour and will drop down behind Santa Catalina Island about 26 miles off the coast of Los Angeles. We're going to fly through the isthmus of the island and then cross the coast north of the Santa Monica Mountains. As we head south, we can see features such as Marina del Rey and Los Angeles International Airport. We see the Palos Verdes Peninsula in the center now, along with the Long Beach Harbor. Now, we're moving down into the Orange County area. The bow tie shaped feature now visible are Balboa and Lido Islands in Newport Bay. We're heading toward Los Angeles, and in the center of the screen is downtown. Hollywood and Beverly Hills are below as we move into the San Fernando Valley. You'll see a V-shaped lake appear. That's Castaic Lake. We will now turn and proceed to fly straight down the rift valley of the San Andreas Fault. We're crossing the east fork of the San Gabriel Mountains and we'll turn around and face those same mountains when we lose elevation into the Pomona Valley area. We can see Mount Baldy at the top right of the screen and as we pan the San Gabriel Mountains we can note in the foreground the Santa Fe Dam and Recreation Area, the Santa Anita Racetrack and Golf Course. You can now see the Rose Bowl with the surrounding golf course. It took five and a half days of non-stop computer time on a machine capable of computing four million instructions per second. Over 3,000 digital frames were generated to make L.A. the movie. That represents more than 2.6 billion bytes of data. That is equivalent to enough characters to fill 1.3 million pages of text. That would be a stack of paper over 44 stories tall. Techniques developed during the creation of L.A. the movie will be used to help scientists analyze the large quantities of data being sent back to Earth by satellites.
Let's go on a moonlight swim To the rock we can race in for just a little while I'll sit and pretend that you're on a desert island with me On a moonlight swim So 